guys, I am doing a quick review today of Can Science Explain Everything by John C. Lennox. Um, this will be required reading for my 10th grader. I mentioned it in our 10th grade curriculum picks video, but I didn't have it on hand to show because my husband had it at work with him. Um, if you're not familiar with John Lennox, he works for Ravi Zacharias International Ministries. He has some great um, videos. He's just a really fun guy to watch. Um, and well, fun might not be the right word, but relax. he's like a grandpa. It just seems warm and fuzzy um, when talking about some very serious things. He does some debates with atheists um, and such, and those are really good. We might have um, a couple of those required this year for, for her as well um, as she prepares to go into the world and possibly on to college where she might experience um, some of these scientists that want to argue atheism. So in the book, he just talks about how um, God obviously created everything and that there is no separation really between God and science. Um, he talks about from Newton to Hawking. So one of the things he um, has done a lot of speaking about, and he talks about it in this book, is that a lot of um, scientists throughout history believed in God and actually believed that science could... Uh, studying science could help us see God and understand God and how we've now, science has become dominated by atheists. Um, so you can see some of the chapters there. Some really good stuff. Um, belief in God is a delusion. Um, obviously that's not his position, but he talks about how some people believe that. And he argues against that. Um, rational explanation. He's... He's just, he puts things um, that can be complex and maybe difficult to put into words in a very easy to read, laid back style. That's what I really like about John Lennox is um, he has just a really laid back kind of calm approach to debating these issues. There's no, um, I don't want to say anger because no Christian apologist should have, approach it with anger, but there's just no... Um, he's just very calm and easygoing about it all. And, and I just, I relate to that a lot, um, and find it easier to follow. He's obviously, he's a very, very intelligent man, but he doesn't make things, um, he doesn't speak down to people. Maybe that's what I want to say. He doesn't speak down to, um, his readers or his listeners when he's talking. There's a picture of him. Woo! Well, maybe there's a picture of him. Goodness gracious, that's how my day's been going. Um, but anyway, a little bit about him. He's um, just a great guy, and this is a great book to read um, for high schoolers, in my opinion, um, who might be going off to college or just entering the world where they're going to um, meet people who have a more uh, atheistic science worldview. Um, science has sort of become like a god to um, a lot of academics. So great read to help them learn how to defend their faith, help solidify um, what they believe in a scientific sense, and help them to put into words things that um, they may need help with. I know for me it, it really does, you know, things that I believe, but may not have the right words to explain it. So it's just really great. I think I can say great a whole bunch of times in this video. Maybe we should turn that into a game. Have a piece of chocolate every time I say the word great. <laughs> Works for me. So anyway, there is that book. I'll be doing some other book, quick little um, four to five minute book reviews um, throughout the year. And we will see you next time, guys. Happy homeschooling.